Hello viewers and potential subscribers, you're watching Cosplay Emerald and I was very sad when the first of the loss has gone away. I was really devastated, I had to say goodbye to my lost Broom Sparrow but not me, not anymore. I've made my own and this is, it's quite a big hefty build. It took me about three days to make, three days to complete with a couple of hours on those three days each. And it was essentially just a big, big mess at the beginning. It's just putting those sticks onto the broom. I actually used the proper broom for the base of the whole thing. And I was using individual sticks to attach to each one of the little sections of the broom. I'm going to put pictures up so it makes a little more sense. And it was a nightmare to make. But I'm very, very happy with the outcome. It's actually very strong at the moment. Like you're not going to be able to like break this off or anything like that. And you may already see there's some changes that I've added to the actual room itself. I added some cogs, I added some exhaustion pipes and some leather belts around it. And that is because I wanted to give it a little bit more personality. Just making a replica is very very cool but making it more than what it is in a game. That's where the fun comes in, that's when it really really stands out from all the other props. Having it a little bit more of a personal touch. So it kind of like it looks just a little bit different than anything else. Like even the sticks themselves, when I was making it at the beginning, I started to realize there's spiders crawling in there, there's like a box, and there's probably still bugs in it, which is kind of disgusting, but very, very cool at the same time, but there's actually a natural habitat living inside of the broom. So another little thing that I added onto it are those leather belts which hold this little leather pocket over here and I thought that was a very very cool little like addition to it that I was able to add something like this. It just adds a little bit of a story to the prop that it's not just a prop that it actually has something behind it and the exhaustion pipes themselves kind of make it seem like oh that's how it works there's some exhaustion pipes over here so that's where the engine is like the engine might be inside over here. You don't really give this kind of thought to a prop when you first see it you kind of look you look at it and you think Oh, that's very cool. I'm gonna move on now. But when you add stuff like this onto it, it kind of gets your brain going, kind of makes you go thinking like, how does this work? Is this how it works? Maybe it works in a different way. And that's what I really want to go for with my props at the moment. Yeah, just add that extra bit of detail onto them to make them seem as if they are telling a story to you. If you guys want to see pictures, detailed pictures of this prop, I will leave links to it in the description below to my DeviantArt page. If you want to make them very detailed, make sure to press the download button, not just copy and paste it. If you press download, you get the full resolution, you get the perfect images that you want. I hope you guys enjoyed this build as much as I did enjoy making it. I hope you guys give this video a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys next time so see you Boop.